Yo, golf. The dead toast is a hint about what this speedrun is. That's less of a hint. I mean, I guess it's also a pretty big hint. <laughs> if you're going in only knowing that I'm playing Spyro 2, yeah, I guess the split titles are a pretty big hint. <laughs> Noticing. <laughs> yeah, something is missing, isn't it? kinds of ways. Oh, I already have enough enemies. Oh, Zoe, no. I should just be on those then. Excellent. Didn't even miss a gem and glimmer. Let's go. Thanks for helping. Damn. Ugh. Ugh, I'm turned around. Damn, look what I'm doing. It's 
a good peak emote. Not sure I've seen that one before. Uh, I'm pretty sure I split on black screens. Is this the one with the blue pants or the one with the wrench? This is the one with the bear with a bag of gems. I forgot. Get this. What's up, Pander? I'm not sure if I want a bunch of lives or if I don't care. Actually, shoot, I should get the gems here now, because trying to get these while swimming is just going to suck. I think it's just those three, right? Pretty sure. I think I do want lives, also. I am. It's finally time. Spyro 2, it's about time. Hey, Noya. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, Hunter is there. I didn't see him. I was really confused about why he didn't show up, but he did show up. <laughs> I don't know that I am necessarily good at games. I'm pretty sure I'm just patient. <laughs> I'm patient when I'm bad at games. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what kind of challenges I run into. Um, before I started streaming, I did any percent up to gulp to make sure you could attack gulp. Because I, I was worried, someone had pointed out, I forget who, it might have been gulp, pointed out that, uh, you know, when you're sparksless, the birds in gulp drop health. So, can you attack gulp? And yes, you can. They drop health as well as things, as well as like barrels and stuff, so I can get through it. I also wanted to do that to make sure I could still do gulp skip, which I did. I got it twice in a row. Yeah, I didn't think they did. And I just wanted to make sure. Who bit the toast? It was Ripto. Ripto bit the toast and now Sparks is gone. I think I should leave him there. Hello, Aussie. Also, it's not a bad idea to just get a million fodder. Um just because they eventually drop lives also. <laughs> oh god, I thought that was early. Hey, Jenny. How are you, Jenny? I hope you're doing okay. Stress cake. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, Scalos is gonna be fun. I've thought about it. I'm... It'll be fine. I'm gonna do basically my same route, except end on a different bone. I'll just end on the one that's in the lava. Uh, that gem. Fuck. Oh my god. <sighs> Did gulp skip twice in a row, now messing up this. 
kind of hope I'd recoil back into that gem. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. If this is the worst thing that happens in this run, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Um, I think I'm okay. I don't know. Hey, bagel. Wait, is that too far? No, it wasn't. Okay. I got worried. My most common mistake is going just too far outside of the, uh, the range. And not being able to come back in. Ah. Okay, Aether, what am I doing? I'm playing Spyro the Dragon 2 Ripto's Rage. Why do you ask? I felt like. shit. <laughs> I felt like I wasn't handicapping myself enough by playing on PS1 and ending on Bone Dance, so now I'm also doing it Sparksless. Ah, oh, fuck. No, I'm... actually, though, I'm not actually back on Spyro 2, I just want to do this one Sparksless run, and then I'm doing S1 Sparksless again. God damn it! <laughs> I swear, I got this twice in a row before I started streaming. There. Easy trick. What is making Zando just okay? You will fight it. I appreciate that, Bagel. Um... Uh, no, Gulp. Once you enter Gulp, it just stays open. Um... Yeah. Thanks, Gulp. Oh my god, seriously? Who is the ugly green horse? Jenny. That's Spyro. <laughs> sure I own any pairs of sunglasses, to be honest. I never wear them, so I think the answer is zero. Shit. 
if I can beat Sk if I can beat Gulp without dying once, I will be so happy. Seriously? Oh god, multiple chickens? Back here. I love the cool crying toast. It's so good. Oh shit. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Just. That's fine. Yes. Yes, I did see that. That was very cute. Shit. Oh shit, no. Get out of there. Oh god damn it. Oh, a rocket. We're good. We're good. Let's go. We're super good. Oh my god. He calls the fairies the queen. That's adorable. I love our nephew. Almost got this first try. Oh, I forgot to split on gulp skip. Forgot I had a split there. Oh, there's a life. Seriously? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh no, please. Oh, thank god. Okay, okay. I can't believe I did that first try. I'm jealous of my gulping skills too. I wish I could play like that normally. Hey, Muzz. I think I finally come up with a way. Egg. Swag swim the Dragon Shores strat? No. I I don't know how to do the swim in Dragon Shores, I'm not gonna bother with that. How do I set up a Sparksless run? Um it is I I use basically a game shark. I I went into Bizhawk and very quickly found the memory address for your health. Um and then I used a game shark to just lock that address to zero on my console. It's the sickest penguin proxy? Thank you. So I'm cheating, yes. I can do I can try Sproder once. <laughs> There's no reason not to. This run is a meme anyway. Nope. Did not get it. <laughs> oh well. We tried. Fuck. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, we're good. 
that was a really bad angle, but I dealt with it. Rip. I'm honestly not actually sure early Ripto is worth it in Sparksless. I'm just doing it because it means that I don't have to make new splits. Oh shit, that's... oh well. Because the big advantage of early Ripto... The big advantage of early Ripto is it gives you bigger Sparks range. But that doesn't help us. The other advantage is, you're here already, so you might as well fight Ripto right now. Oh, come on. That's yeah, fine, Bagel. You don't have to work all the time. Projects can take a while. Dumb, but we're fine. Get. Oh god. I'm swimming right now. Aquaria Towers is gonna be miserable. <laughs> I would love that golf. I think Ripto's door is open now, at least. Noya, level 11. Heck yeah. Ripto's door is open. And as much as I would love to swim into Ripto again and get the glitched fight, I think I'd rather just actually play the game. <laughs> playing Spyro 2 to begin with. <laughs> This part of the fight I'm better at, but phase one, I am awful. Ah, close. Ah, close. Let's go, I managed to beat him without taking a hit. Oh fuck, I forgot to split again. Completely forgetting. It's been so long since I've run this. Reset the run, splits ruined. Oh, okay. There we go. 
2443 early game. Let's go. Okay, I didn't miss any gems in Glimmer, so let's see. Let's see if I can keep that up in Robotica. Metropolis is going to be a lot harder, but Robotica I might be able to, to manage. Sorry, I just remembered, I think. Yeah. Literally never talked to that guy before. Oh yeah, there's a new Robotica route compared to what I was just doing. What is it again? You like go up here? Is there there's not. Um Don't actually remember where I wanna go. Who even knows? Not me, that's for sure. Yeah, this lo or this game, this whole run is gonna be a lot of get a thing and then look behind me to see if I got everything. Okay, that's not what I, whatever. flying bug over here, or did I get it already, somehow? I don't see it, so I guess I got it. Um, I don't know. I, I've been thinking about it. I'm really not sure. I think Aquaria is going to be a huge pain in the butt just because collecting gems manually while swimming is going to be awful. But I don't know that I'm going to run into anything that's going to be, like, really hard to do at all. Like Gulp might have been. Um, any level with a mystery bottle might be a little challenging, just because if you die you need to do the whole mystery bottle thing again. Yeah, actually, Marsh could be a pain. That's very true. <sighs> Beautiful. Um, I've 
gotten everything down here already, so... <laughs> Good job getting none of those. Yeah, yeah, with the trade orb. Uh, Spire 3 does have a few mystery bottles. Not many, I don't think, but it does have some. Dan would know. I know there's one in Charmed Ridge, but I'm blanking on if there are any others. Oh, and Bamboo, yeah. That's... Oh, that was everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, there aren't many, are there? There also aren't many lockboxes, as I recall. For some reason, they just didn't do that much. Well, bagel completely burning me. Cool. Um... God, you know what's hilarious? I need to go to the bathroom. That's what. <laughs> I... I don't know. I might do it after robot. Oh, god damn it! I forgot to split again. Fuck. Why do I keep forgetting to do that? <laughs> it's not like I'm new to speedrunning this. is actually here. Let's go. Uh, actually getting to the last section in this level might be a little bit of a pain, just because it's really easy to get hit by something here. I'm just gonna be a little careful with all of this. Really? Okay, good. <laughs> Actually, oh shit. Um. Really? coming out of Spyro on that hill? What? I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you know what Golf is talking about, then can you elaborate on it? Oh, 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 oh. I see what you mean. Um, there are force fields in this game. In maybe all of the Spyro games, actually. All of the OG ones. Uh, yeah. There's invisible walls that keep you from going out of bounds. And if you enter it from... Like that. If you enter it from the outside, it just kind of bops you forward. Yep. Yeah. I 
feel silly. I just avoided that egg thinking, well, I don't want fodder. I'm running around picking up gems. I don't want sparks to get distracted. Good old dumb brain. There's a gem there still. be honest, this is going way better than I expected. I didn't miss a gem. I don't know how. Oh, and that's... meh. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. Right back. So I've been thinking and kind of trying to figure out, so far, this kind of feels easier than Sparksless 120. And I'm trying to figure out what it is exactly that's making me feel that way. Those are some bad shots. Um, and I think, first of all, it's just that a lot of the early game is the same. It's, it's more or less unchanged. thicker? Well, I mean, yes, first of all, I think he is, but I don't just mean, like, in terms of the differences between S1 and S2. Oh, no, I guess it would matter, in terms of gem pickup radius. I see what you're saying. Shit, no, it might, that might actually be a difference. I hadn't thought about that. But no, I think a big part of it is just... Sparks doesn't really matter for a lot of the early game in Spyro 2. Whereas in 120, you are basically immediately needing to deal with that. So I'll give it like three or four more levels before... figuring out how I feel. Also... Spyro 2 is just an 
easier game, I think, than Spyro 1. If you have Fireball, at least. So, you don't have to worry as much about enemies that you're running around since you can just snipe them from a distance instead of needing to get up close to them. This level I should be careful about with the enemies, though. Because this is actually a level where the enemies are really dangerous the whole time. And dying at all is really, really costly here, so... I'm just gonna try to be careful. I'm gonna try to take enemies out early when I can. Uh, the pufferfish especially. May be a problem. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in here. Sorry, hold on. There we go. Egg. Can we get some eggs in chat? Also, I can't totally be careful. Sorry, I just realized I'm gonna have an egg in my mouth. Or not an egg, necessarily, but something in my mouth through most of this level. So I can't just snipe things from a distance whenever I want. I can a lot, just not whenever I want. Oh my god, hit the important thing. Are you serious? Hit the one important thing there. Fuck. That was a big whiff, I think. Oh no, I got it. Cool. Excellent. Ah, shit, yeah. It's even gonna be... while I'm underwater. Yeah, this is gonna be a pain. Mystic Marsh, strong candidate for hardest sparksless level. scary. No, it won't, because I'm amazing. Hmm. 
I think it would be better to come down this way first. Approach this from a distance. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I think that is the smarter way to do that. Gems down here? Yep, looks like it. Oh, please. Wahoo! My god. I haven't missed a gem yet. The level took me like seven minutes, but I haven't missed a gem yet. Well, I've been leaving the levels with all the gems, so... Oh, I see what you mean. Right. What actually? Uh, I'm gonna just take out all these things right now. I don't want to deal with that. Because eventually I'm gonna have to run out of there blind, and I, I, I don't want to do that. This is the hide and seek level, yes. Ow. Oh my god. 
This is also not a hard jump. There we go. Right. Nice. Good shot. Bad shot. There it is. I could believe. Um, so the way you're supposed to do that challenge, there's these guys that run around in that room, and they don't load in until you actually have the power up. Uh, but if you go in there before you have the power up, they're still there. Uh, they're just invisible. Any other gems here? I think so, yeah. I think I'm gonna do hide and seek right now, actually. I normally do it at the end, but I think I'm gonna wanna run back through it. So, uh. Yeah, I think it's better to do it now. Damn it! I thought I was good there. Come on now. Oh no. Is surprisingly doable. Uh, sparksless. What? I I was sure I was gonna miss a bunch of gems that I'd have to go back for. That's okay though, because I can just get back going this way. Finally happened. What did I miss? It was absolutely going to happen eventually. It's not like it's a surprise. Oh, do you know the one? Where is the one golf? The first whirlwind? Okay. That's fine. Oh! You know, it's funny, I thought I saw one there, and then I told myself, no, it's just the rock. It's always just the rock. Because I frequently think I missed a gem and it's just the rock sitting there, but no, it was just next to a rock. That's funny. Good call, Golf. Yep. Oh shit. We're done with Winter Tundra. Already. Can you believe it? Spro der Dorn. Do you see this beauty? Do you see? I already got that. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh. 
Any ideas about where I'm missing a gem here? You know, it's actually... Hold on, I'm gonna check up here real quick, but I suspect it's actually around Bob Temples. Ah, no. There it is. A video of games, as it were. Thank you, Dan. Glad you appreciated it. Um, Lee C. Sproder, eventually I'd like to do a Sparksless 337. I wish I could give a better answer than that. I know that that's kind of a turtles all the way down answer, but that's where I am. Shot that now. Ooh, hey now. It's actually not that bad. I thought this would be a lot worse than it is. Damn it. Gulp was a little scary, but that's. That's been the worst part. I did actually first try gulp, but it surprised me. I didn't think I would. It was scary and tense the whole fight. I'm I'm mostly worried about Aquaria. I think Aquaria is gonna be the worst in terms of movement frustration. <laughs> Especially because, on top of, you know, needing to manually touch all the gems, I, uh... <laughs> I won't know where I'm missing any. I'm gonna have to get them before the, uh, or separately from the, the Manta thing, which is not usual. Cake layers are done, let's go. less hockey. This is where the real challenge is. I should try to learn the new hockey strat. I won't, but I should. It looks cool. What is it? It's just like, uh, and then you just do it, and you have it, and it's yours. Something like that. Oops. Shit. Did not mean to actually jump there. Sure. 
Yes, Jenny, we can. Definitely. Any particular video game? Yeah, we'll figure something out. I have not golf. Oh my god, speaking of... I did not know you could double jump that. I have been sprotering that this whole time. I never knew. I feel so dumb. <laughs> I saw a really cute co-op physics game the other day. Uh, it's called Fogs. It's, it's spelled P-H-O-G-S. And... Imagine if there was a, not in terms of tone of the thing, but imagine there was a cat dog video game where it's a co-op game and each player controls one end of cat dog. Uh, except instead of being weird and disgusting, it's really cute and both ends are dogs. It also has really cute uh, themes for the worlds. The person who described it to me, Rare Like is their username, said uh, there's three worlds. There's sleep world, play world, and food world, because sleep, play, and food are the three most important things to a dog. <laughs> Hey, Brig. So he did. I don't know what is with me in splitting right now. I am just empty headed. Cutting them in half do. I'm generally in favor of people daring to do things. Are you aware gold in one sitting? Ooh. That sounds fun. Uh, WarioWare is a Switch or is a Nintendo series that I'm really waiting for them to make a Switch game of. Because it's, it's just so perfect for the Switch. Why haven't they done it yet? Ought to make more layers, I see. Decided. 
Oh, come on. If I didn't miss that one, that would have been, like, almost perfect fish RNG. <sighs> oh my god, seriously? I just had to miss that one fish. There we go. Yeah, no, they're... There has been no word on WarioWare. At first, I figured, like, okay, they were trying to market 1-2 Switch as a big thing. So maybe it'll just be a bit before they make a WarioWare game, because they don't want to overshadow that. But it's been a bit, and there's still no word on it. Off of my gem. Oh, whatever. Get it in a minute. Oh, nice. I wanna, I wanna see how hard it is to just do two laps with the, uh, with the supercharge, because that might be the way to do it. No, give me that one. Give me that one gem. I don't think you do. <laughs> I believe they take place in the same world, and that's all they really share. And like, a couple of them have the same characters or something. Hold on just a second. 
My phone was just buzzing a bunch. I want to make sure things are okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Excellent. I'm actually going to save those. Normally get those with sparks, but that's going to be easier without. Excellent. Yes. Yes, indeed. story. How did it work? You opened up a box. Good, good. I like it so far. Hey, shout outs to not having routes. <laughs> Letter. Interesting. Interesting. This isn't right. This definitely isn't right. Oh well. It's not a big deal. That, that is a good story, Golf. <laughs> Dang, imagine not getting the skill point.
There was a gem there, but I guess not. Perfect. Is that my first death to an enemy? Like, obviously, I died to Ripto, but I feel like I've been pretty good about avoiding deaths. I was supposed to go this way, wasn't I? No, I wasn't. What am I saying? I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, Reiji, that's the plan. I'm not sure I got everything out there, but whatever. Oh, okay, cool. Cool game. If it turns out I'm missing any gems, I'll look out that way. No, I think I got all of them. Oh shit, shit, shit. Is there a, a, a proxy here, or do you just kind of fall? You just fall there. Yeah, I don't really have a plan here. I guess I'll just die. Never mind. Honestly, that's probably the best option. You're welcome, SpongeBob. Got that already. I'm good there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I got all the ones. 
ones here. I'm actually gonna do one more quick look. Yeah, no, I got everything. We're good. No, I don't. I did not want that. I'm dumb. I'm I'm dumb. Um, my PB is a little over two hours, or a little under two hours. It's like 158 something, and I think that's the only sub two I got. Although that said, uh, that was very close to like a 156. Not that that makes much difference, but as I recall, I lost like two minutes on the last level. Do you amper? What? Shit. What? Why? Why is this happening? <laughs> Bond. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know what to do about that. I guess I'll die. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Uh, wrong way. Unfortunate. I don't know. Dan, do you have any any other ideas? Happen to Zach wants no idea why that's a thing. Fair enough. I'm afraid I'm not. I'm 
afraid that is not a thing in this. Duping the marbles wouldn't even help the problem I had. Okay, I think these next two are going to be two of the worst levels. <clears throat> as long as we're getting through this, I think we'll be okay. I say as long as we get through this, as if I'm going to suddenly stop because a level is too hard. Obviously, we're going to be fine no matter what. It's just these two have the most water movement. also has some kind of pain in the butt enemies. Seriously? Come on. Not too many, but some of them. Some of them just suck. in there? Yeah. <laughs> Golf makes a good point. I think that's the strat.
Do I even need to talk to that guy to start this challenge? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. for the turtles isn't too complicated, but I tend to forget it anyway. Mostly just if I go a long time without doing a run, you know. Oh yeah. Good one, Muzz. I appreciate you trying to watch as much as you could. Okay. Hard level time. Honestly, I'm gonna pick up all the gems I can right now. If anybody has Tuper Eyes and wants to post it, now's the time. This is the appropriate level. dumb trophy I did see. I forget if I got that achievement on Steam. I was working on that one for a bit. I love Rogue Legacy. That's maybe my favorite roguelike. Uh, and I, I played it for a long while uh, last year at some point. I don't know how long exactly. I'm not going to try to put numbers to it. I guess it's not hard to put numbers to it, actually. I can probably check during a loading screen. Because I, I think I... I heard and bought it. <laughs> I played it for a bit. It's a good start. I'm excited for when it's finished up. I want to say I had, like, 50 hours in the game before I went on a huge Rogue Legacy binge last year. And I don't know how much I played at that point. 129 hours? So I guess I played it for like 80 hours last year. I, I was having a lot of fun with it. Hit the dude. Thank you.
But yeah, I, I know I was trying to, to get that one. I forget if I did, if I if I managed it or not. I was also trying to beat all of the uh, the the hard bosses, the hard versions of the bosses, and I, I forget if I did that too. I don't remember. <laughs> I know I got some of them at least. I do not have that. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> That is a really hard one. Wait, really? What? I could have sworn I did the asteroids at least. Huh. I guess not. Oh well. I mean, if anything that's a good thing, it means I have more to do next time I play Rogue Legacy. <laughs> I think that's right. I'm pretty sure I had all the bosses unlocked. I know I tried all of those. I mean, except for Mach the, the Traitor. But in terms of the other hard mode bosses, I don't know what to, refer, what to refer to those as, but those kinds of bosses, I'm pretty sure I tried all of them. All of the main four. Oh, or are the brothers... I see. Never mind, I think I see what the issue is here. I heard the brothers and assumed that was also one of the four hard bosses. And it is not. Oh, I should get that seahorse. Well, either way, I thought I had done the asteroids, and I'm a little miffed that I apparently haven't. You're welcome, King Flippy. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> shit, please. Oh my god, this was not as hard as I thought it would be. I was convinced this level was gonna take, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> just from trying to move around in the water and pick up gems, but this was not bad at all. This is also giving me big hope for 117 Sparks less. Granted, I know Spyro 2 much better than I know Spyro 3, so I think 117 is going to have a lot more me not knowing where gems are. As opposed to this, where I do basically know where they are, even if I don't go after them all the time. Yeah, yeah, there are some things I'm still not sure how to implement with 117 Sparksless. I have not figured it out yet. I only got the memory address for this, like, ten minutes before I started streaming. 
I, I haven't looked at 117 yet at all. Yeah, I know. I mean, the things that I need to figure out have to do with the memory address. So. Because the issue is... Sparksless means that you're locking your health at zero. That's how it works with, uh... Oh, right, I do Breeze first. That's how it works with Spyro 1 and Spyro 2. The problem is, in Spyro 3, there are a bunch of mini-games where you have a health bar, as well as the Sparks levels where you have a health bar, and I don't know what locking your health to zero will do in those situations. So I need... I mostly just need to see that. Because if it turns out that health bar has a separate memory address than your sparks health, great. That will make it super easy. But if it doesn't, if that's all the same value, I we're gonna have problems. <laughs> Did I get all of those? Looked like I did, but that would have been a surprising flame charge to actually work. I guess I did. Huh. Oops. There was a gem. Oh, I guess it was that one.
Oh, thank God. Okay. We're good. Thank you, Golf. I will do my best to not do that. Got all of those already, right? Yeah. If you play video games, is yell hello the one true noob? Oh, you did it, ZL. Um, yeah, I'm pretty close to the end. I'd say I'm more than two thirds of the way. Autumn Plains has the most levels, but not by a lot. This is sparksless, yes. But give me. It's gone. It's not that bad, actually, Zeal. I've been surprised. the The parts that I thought were gonna be really rough were not. Like, Gulp didn't end up that bad, Aquaria didn't end up that bad. I was surprised, Aquaria really wasn't. I would say it was one of the better levels. Oh god, a double Zoe. I hate those. I hate when you can see Zoe in two places at once. It's the worst. some white hunters in chat for this hunter challenge. Where is the... Fuck. Well, I got the gem. So there's that. Thank you, Ragey. Ow! Oh, Metropolis was another one that I thought was going to be really bad and just wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think this is much different than Sparksless 120. Spyro hit the thing. 
I thought it was going to be way worse since the levels are much bigger and you rely on sparks much more in Hundo than you do in 120, but uh, yeah, no, it's just, it's not that bad. Oh, do I need to do the first one again? Do I need to talk to Handel again? Ugh, disgusting Handel. And then do I need to then go back to second? Okay, cool. That's not that bad then. Um, no, I have a Game Shark device. It's not exactly a Game Shark, because Game Shark is a specific brand, but it's. It's a, a memory editor thing like that. I don't know what the, the proper term for those is. Did I miss this gem? No, oh, I got it. I don't, I don't know what the, the generic term for those kinds of things are. But I have one, and I have it set up to just lock my health at zero. Pretty sure a zombie run is impossible, since zombie, uh, you lock in cutscenes. Zombie is not helpful in this game at all, and it mostly just makes the game difficult or impossible to play. I mean, the one I always remember is it locks you in... Um, what's it called? Aquaria, when you hit the, the buttons. Also in Ripto, uh, it locks you when it goes to the second phase. I don't think I got Bombo. You know what I did get, though? All the freaking gems. There he is. I'm really surprised in how few levels I've been missing gems. Because <laughs> it's only been a few. And I expected it to be, like, most of them. Oh, I see. Fourteen tell is a fun category. I need to go this way. I don't know why I did that. That was very silly of me. What? I don't want to talk to you, Lila.
Actually, this level might be a problem. Oh my god, they do say it, don't they? Oh god, yeah, this level's gonna be a problem. It is really easy to accidentally get hit here. Also, I don't know why I, like, hopped up there to try to specifically aim at that satyr. I... I never do that in runs, and I always hit it just fine. Uh, hello? What, did I hit a B or something? Tree was not digging it. Beats me. God, I'm really happy. Where am I going? My route doesn't need to change from my normal route at this point. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm really happy that I don't have a chat right now who's just like, yeah, you hit a B. Yeah. Instead, I'm getting this, and this is just much better. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, I did get all of them, right? I got the ones over here too? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. I'm hitting you. I wanna hit all of you. No, I wanted to hit the fucking tree. Why does Hunter not say thank you for releasing me here? <laughs> okay, yeah, we're good. I don't need to go that way, I still have a lot to get this way. Believe it, oh boy. Thank you for releasing me. tree, but whatever. Type one if you're a bee. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, get the one gem. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised I did not get all the gems. I still usually miss gems here when I'm playing normal hundo runs. Okay, what did I forget? Oh. Seriously? Really? <laughs> Uh, 
I was positive I was going to be missing more than that. That's also two levels now where it took me, like, three seconds to find the gem I was missing. What was the other one where I did that? There was another one. Oh, it was, uh, Breeze Harbor. Yes. And Golf saw the one that I missed in Cloud. Um... So let's see, after Magma, I have Shady Oasis and Icy Speedway. And then after that, I go to Crystal Glacier, um, Zephyr, Metro Speedway, and End on Scalos. Fuck. I mean, this is also world record in Sparks list because there are no sparksless runs to date. Uh, also, for what it's worth, this is not a normal route. I do my own hundo route because I'm a weirdo. Don't, don't use my route to try to learn. <laughs> Oh god, sparksless popcorn. Let's see how it goes. I saw a thing the other day that I need to remember to take a glance at sometime. I'm pretty sure it's nothing. I'm almost positive that not only this has been looked at before, but that I have looked at this before. But if I did, it would have been a while ago and I don't remember. But I was reading the official Spyro the Dragon strategy guide the other day. And according to the official Spyro the Dragon strategy guide, Sparks is better at collecting gems when he's at full health. As opposed to blue or green. And I'm almost positive that's not true. That that's just some bullshit they made up for that guide. Uh, but I'm curious. Yeah, it was Prima. Because that sounds like the kind of shit they might say that just straight up isn't true. Like, if it was, first of all, we would absolutely know about that. We definitely would. Fuck. But, I mean, there's also stuff in there, like... It does advise that if you have trouble charging places, trying to catch things, maybe try jumping while you're charging, and that's absolutely true. That is actual movement tech. It's a fun guide to read, though. They refer to end-of-level vortexes at one point as a column of sparkles. I kind of want to rename that category column of sparkles percent. 
I forgot to hit that earlier. hilarious ragey <laughs> it was gonna be a head bash Dan but apparently uh oh no <laughs> what how did that work gimme This actually might be a problem. I need to be careful getting these gems. Getting these gems and dealing with these guys. These clowns. No, you do not need to kill all the enemies. You just need the gems, uh, orbs, and talismans, and to beat the bosses. Oh heck, Miku's here. When did that happen? Miku wasn't here at the start. Um, hey, what gem did I miss? We might have a, a problem level here. Ding. What, one out here? No. Oh! So I did. My chat is good at paying attention. Thank you, true noob. Completely forgot that gem existed. Shorty might actually get in the way and make it hard to kill some enemies here. <laughs> there are definitely a handful of enemies in this level that are easy to take a hit from. What would I do without chat? Get like a five hour run probably? I think that was too low. Hey. God, shorty fucking move. Uh, yeah, that's all of them. Thank you. 
<laughs> I think most people tend to say it in front of him. I think this is probably the first time I've said it behind him. Actually, gonna be kind of a pain. Oh, let's go. Let's just grab that again, real quick. I think I got all the ones up here. There's these two. Boop and boop and shadoop. Snag all of those and then run around here. And actually, I might as well let the thief jump up there and grab these before hitting it. If you have sparks, it's really easy to, uh, to get the Lamp Thief and then run up and get all those gems, but without Sparks, that's not as true. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll just go down? Nice catch. That was only five minutes. Amazing. Hey, Longbeak. This is a sparksless run. We're going for it. We're getting pretty close to the end, too. I was worried this might be like four hours, but this should pretty comfortably sub three. Going for it! How's that golf? Let's go.
made it. How close are you, Gull? Sixty-four percent. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> no, one hundred percent does not include Dragon Shores. We do go to Dragon Shores to steal the permanent fireball, but you don't have to do any of the, the mini games there. Well jumped. Oh, Draculitz is going to be interesting. <laughs> there. Yeah, that's that's basically how 100% works in this game. And that is something people usually do. My route is just weird for ending on Scalos. Most people end on Icy Speedway. Um, but yeah, you do what is basically any percent. Go straight to Ripto, grab Fireball and Dragon Shores. Um, and then by beating Ripto, you've unlocked the extended Sparks range, which also saves a bunch of time. Um, and then you would basically work backwards through the game, do the Winter Tundra stuff, and then go back and do Summer Forest and finish in Autumn Plains. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically 100% in a nutshell. For the route I'm doing, I'm not actually sure early Ripto is worth it in Sparks List. White Plains last, the route just works out better that way. 
In particular, I think it helps to end on Icy Speedway, just since it's so far out of the way from anything else. Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Fucking, this isn't hard, Spyro. Thank you. I think that's why normal people end on Icy. Um, also, Summer Forest is just easy to run around and loop through. To do a bunch of levels and then end right next to a, uh, a Homeworld Warp. I saw a little bit of your Bowser playing earlier, that was pretty sick. Um, the swinging spiders are called draklets, and you need to get all of the draklets for one of the orbs. Stop! Oh my god. I've never been in this position getting this orb. I didn't know this could happen. <laughs> Thank you, George, for giving me that orb. <laughs> Also, I don't think the Draclids have enemy spirits. I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah, the Spyro games aren't that hard casually. Done, Muzz is here, officially. Things are going all right, Muzz. We're almost done, as you can see. Just a few levels left. I apparently forgot how to double jump, but, you know, other than that, there we go. I'm actually a little worried about some parts of this level. I guess if I just play it a little bit careful, like that guy, it's really easy for that guy to hit you if you're not, if you're not careful about it. These birds can hit you really easily. <gasps> that guy can hit you really easily. <laughs> Zephyr is up there for, oh fuck. Zephyr is up there for my favorite stages, too, is what I was about to say. <laughs> Let's just kill everyone real quick here. Wait, what? Okay, come on now. Can I hit these birds from here? Yeah, probably. You did 
did record your sub one hour Spyro 120 playthrough. Wow. Oh, but the video corrupted. Oh, that's such a shame. That bird, did I? No, I did not. I didn't think I would hit the bird that way, it just would have been funny if I did. What? What? Wait, what? 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 <laughs> what killed me? Are Zachary Lawrence or Dan6049 here? What the fuck killed me? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. I... I'm not mad anymore. That was hilarious. <laughs> okay, Dan. I... I flew into the talisman room. Uh... All of the enemies in the area were dead. I made sure to hit all of them so, like, the birds weren't alive. I flew into the talisman room, launched a fireball in, and I died. Does it hurt you to be in that room when the cutscene happens? This happened. And I died. Again. I don't remember that hurting you. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous! <laughs> How have I never noticed that that hurts you? <laughs> That's not what I was supposed to do. Shit. Oh, almost. Um, yeah, I'll just go this way. bounds head bashing I'm doing that is not related to the fact that this is a sparksless run and is only happening because I'm bad. Well done. Where did the toast emotes come from? My sister made them. My username has been toaster related basically since I started using the internet and when I got affiliate on Twitch my sister made some toast emotes. For me. So these animals are called cowlicks, and we are herding them. Herding them to Bo Peep, the cowlick shepherd. Shepherdess? I think that's a word that gets a, uh, an S. Yes, herding. We might also be herding them, I don't know. Oh my god. 
Did I get all the gems up here? I'm just not sure. Okay, I did. I just had one of those... I was here three seconds ago and don't remember what happened. Moments. Talk to you, Romeo. Oh, come on. Yeah, they generally just walk away from you when you're close to them, but it is much faster to charge them and fireball them to get them places. I shouldn't have charged that one, I should have known better. Hit, yeah, whatever. It's fine. No! Go on. Good. There are two more cowlicks. Pretty sure I got everything out there. Please. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, the cowlicks can suck just a little bit. jump down yet. Oh. Now we don't need to worry about dying as much. Um, oh. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Time for our favorite game. Where's the missed gem? I don't think it's in the beginning area. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be up here. I felt like I was pretty thorough the first time I passed. Get out of there. First time I passed through this area. Here. Can't balloon proxy. There are no balloons left. If there was a balloon left, that would be a good candidate for what I missed. Okay, we messed up that jump. Let's go this way again. Is this a category you're trying to learn? Or is this similar to a category you're trying to learn? <laughs> Be down here. Thank you, golf. I also felt like I was pretty thorough about checking this area. Yeah, yeah, it's not here. Yeah, this is just Sparksless. Sparksless Hundo. I felt like I checked the beginning area, didn't I? I thought I was pretty good at looking at it. Ah! There it is. Two levels left. I guess we'll see about sub three. <laughs> Hopefully Scalos isn't bad. gems, too. It's the ones out in the, uh, the homeworld should be a red, a blue, and a yellow. Good luck on learning 100% though, Lucia. This is not an easy category. <laughs> Shit. No. Nope. Ah. Oh my god. Pretty sure I got that. Reset the run. I should. I mean, I would recommend, if you're just starting, like, follow my Glimmer route or something, but also, I 
think you would probably get more fun out of just trying the hard stuff immediately. <laughs> Knowing you. I trust that you know the best way to teach yourself a game. Yeah, I did say it would be an easy sub-3, and I, I, I still think it will be. I don't think Scalos is going to take us 15 minutes. But that said, Zephyr took us 15 minutes. <laughs> Zephyr is longer than Scalos, but it's not out of the question that that would happen somewhere else. Okay, yeah, we're good. So unless I missed a talisman somewhere, I think we're good. Oh, I need to kill enemies, actually. Oh, get out of here. Oh, but yeah, though, like... On the one hand, I want to say things like, you know, Oh, don't worry about Glimmer right now, just... Focus on the rest of the game and Glimmer will be easier. But also, I fucking hate it when people tell me how to learn a speedrun. It gets so annoying. When they're like, no, you gotta do it this way. This is the way everybody does it. And if you don't do it this way, we won't fucking help you. It sucks. And I don't want to be that person. Fuck. I wouldn't say I forgot. Uh, I... <laughs> Like, I was still going to do the right route, it's more just that I forgot that I had to kill enemies to make that route work. Why did I not make that jump? That is such an easy jump. It's fine. I'm pretty sure I've had longer bone dances. Actually, no, this is... this would be my longest bone dance. Yeah, my 100% route normally ends on Bone Dance. Um, how many enemies do I need for invincibility here? I've gotta be getting close, right? 
16, yeah, I'm good. Cool, because I need these. Oh, actually, in that case, if I already have enough enemies, I don't need to worry about changing my bone route. I didn't need that. Damn it. <laughs> There was another one there. Heck yeah. Nearly sub 250. making a whole ass cake in the time it took me to do one Spyro 2 Sparkless 100% run. First ever sparksless 100% run. I can't wait for someone to get sub two in this. I, I'm confident that will happen at least. live if I can throw a raid to anyone. Oh, Pander Sarah is live with Vortex. Let's raid Pander. No golf, ding. F for golf. Cool. So, I'm not going to do another one of these for a long while, at least not until I'm better at S2 Hundo, but I would like to try to PB in 120 Sparks list, so that's what I'm going to be doing in the near future. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.